Looks like we're live. All right, here we are live at the Performance Paddling Junior Pro Sup Fiesta. I'm Matty. Hey, Dave Bainey here. Good morning, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We got a beautiful day in here in Huntington with some nice surf rolling in from the south. It's going to be a great day of racing for the youth and the pros. We've got uh, sup races, we've got surfing. Got all kinds of good stuff happening today. Yep, lots of kids from all over to participate in this event. Um, like we said, there's some there's some surf, so there's going to be some action in the racing, and then uh, you know there's a lot of good surfers here for the surf event as well. So looks like it's going to be a fun day, an exciting day to watch the kids go off and and perform. All right, I like that. We got the little logo in the corner. That's new. Sub Connect stepping up with some graphic wizardry. Nice job, boys. Ocean-minded Dennis has been riding for Ocean-minded 13-year-old 
Okay. And don't listen to the, don't get distracted. And, um, so, Grayson Durant's going to pick. We're going to do our inks. They will go right after one another. So, everyone, you have your boards ready on the board garden. Start marshalling. All the inks are on the board back here. If you have that Looks like we've got a brisk day down there. All the kids getting suited up for the first heat. I think it'll be starting in approximately 10 minutes. We'll have heat one of seven of the youth uh, sub racing. We've got some surf today. It's going to make things interesting. Surf will play a factor in this race. Oh, that's for sure. I think, uh, you know, some of the younger kids, this, I mean, this goes down to nine year old, or is that eight and under? Eight and under looks like. So I'm sure we're going to see some parents getting wet in the water as well to, to get their grommets out safe. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure some kids nervous and excited and ready to go. I see some game faces, and it uh, looks like the buoys are set. So Anthony's just given a briefing of the, the rules and the course, and we should be underway here in a few. Heat number one, boys 12 through 14 will be the first to set off. I'd like to make, take a minute to thank our sponsors. First of all, Ocean Minded, the title sponsor of the event, Surf Tech, Boardworks, Del Taco, three things I like right there. Yep. Sweetwater, <laughs> Quick Blade, Standard, Indo Board, and Maui Gym. I think I'm rocking some Maui Gyms right now. And uh, Infinity, Sup the Mag. Also like to thank On It Pro, South Tahoe Stand Up Paddle, Victory, and Sup Love. All right. The guys at SEP Connect got us dialed here with some cheat sheets, some fact sheets of all the guys, all the racers, the invitees. So we're set up pretty good here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are five minutes away from Heat One, boys, 12 to 14. Everybody's going to get a get a good look at what the conditions are going to play here on this race. We got one stud up there charging it in uh, board shorts. Attaboy. All right, we got heat sheets too. There we go. So heat one, we, looks like we got Blue Ingle King, Ryan Maloney, Noah Hopper, Nick Scheel, Max Fleming, Max Swart, Josiah Brackett, and Cole Vaughn. A lot of recognizable grommets in there. This should be a, this should be a good one. There's some good guys, Noah, Nick, Maloney. So we got some kids who are seasoned racers, really. They, I, I see them at quite a bit of the races, so it'll be good to see some good competition from the beginning right here. Okay, the 11, 12 boys are marshalling over to the start. We've got a little bit of an onshore wind, about 15 miles an hour. Two to three foot sets rolling through. Right now they're probably going, hey, start the race right now. Yeah, <laughs> We can get out through the surf, but of course. I'm sure they'll wait on the timing, wait till they get a little swell and send the boys out through there. <laughs> That's how it always seems to work out, right? Yep. Flat before it starts, the, the biggest set of the day magically appears. Looks like all the Groms are getting leashed up for this. We might have some carnage on this first heat. We'll see. I'm expecting carnage in every, in every heat for sure. <laughs> I mean, when there's, always, when there's surf involved, it's kind of inevitable. It's going to go down. Oh, look at that. We got, look at Annabelle. What's cool about this event, there's some top racers here. You know, we got Annabelle Anderson, obviously Candace and Anthony, um, Maddie Becker, a lot of guys hanging out, coaching the kids, giving some tips. Uh, what a neat thing for the grommets to be, you know, up close with these pros and 
you know, interact and all that stuff. It's a really cool event that Candace and Anthony have put together here. Definitely year one, this is going to grow. This thing's going to get big, and I love the development of the sport with the young kids. I think SUP has been kind of known as the uh, older gentleman's sport, but that's changing every year. More and more Groms getting involved. Yeah, the turnout is actually amazing. You know, when you think about it, when you go to a race, you, I don't really picture this many kids around, but when you see them all here together, you're like, wow, there's definitely a lot of kids, you know, coming up in the SUP, and uh, it's pretty cool. A lot of these kids are getting fast and starting to surf really well and all that, so definitely, definitely cool and really fun to see. Looks like Heat One is down there getting some instruction. About ready to take off. All right, in case you just joined us. We are live here in Huntington Beach, technically Bolsa Chica for the Junior Pro Sup Fiesta. We are uh, minutes away from Heat One of the boys, 12 to 14 Sup race. We've got some nice surf, beautiful conditions. We're drawing kids from all over, pro, amateur from all over California. And uh, of course in the pro division, we've got them from all over the world. Yeah, great turnout for this event. Um, Candace and Anthony did a great job getting the word out and pumping it up and getting a lot of support from the parents and all the junior pros. So really cool to see people making the effort to come out and have a good day and have fun. A lot of um, fellow pro sup racers in town. Um, cool to see the support. And, uh, yeah, we're off to a, a good start so far. We're going to have this first heat go underway. And I actually can't wait to, to get it started already. I'm... I'm ready to see some action here. Looks like the front line right there. We got Ron House, the beach marshal, probably instructing the start. Everyone's um, lined up with the board up on the rail. What that does is kind of ensure there's a fair start so people don't creep close to the line and things like that. So. Looks like they move them. They're going to move them a little further south, kind of taking in consideration a little south swell drift. In, yeah, in the south wind, it's starting to pick up here. Some of the kids getting in a little dance warm up. Obviously, get those legs loosened up, you know, a little dancing in the morning, get you ready. Oh, yeah, getting the game face going, get the blood pumping, getting psyched. Well, we're waiting for heat number one. Heat number two is to be checking in. Heat number two, you know who you are? Girls 12 to 14, Laura Clayton, Narcy Forcier, Kalei Alexio, Shay Crowdy, Ali, Elena Clark, Christine Shoemaker, and Emily Bart. The few girls can start checking in right now. Waiting for race official Anthony Vela to give us the go ahead. All right, looks like we're waiting for Anthony Vela, official race official, to give the go ahead for the start of the competition. He's down there on the front line, kind of instructing everybody to get this event underway. As the sets keep pouring through. <laughs> yeah, the kids are getting a good look at it. All right. A 
believe what I just heard, the course is going to be kind of a, an M shape. They're going to dart out past the surf to the first buoy, make a right shoulder turn, come in, ride a wave in. I don't know if they come out on the beach or not, or do they just flip around, but then they head back out to another buoy, shoulder turn, and ride a wave back in as well. So these are kind of quick little sprint races, but there's a lot of factors to go down, as, as you know, with the surf and the current and the wind and... You know, someone could be leading the race and fall and could be behind, catch a wave. and So it may be short, but it's going to be a lot of action and a lot of factors factoring in. So I'm excited to check it out. Oh, this is definitely a surf-driven race. You know, it may only be a 500-yard race, but they're going in and out of the surf one, two, three, four times. So there will be a lot of lead changes, a lot of excitement. We'll see guys coming in out the back. I mean, they could almost catch a rail as they turn the buoy and maybe catch a wave from way outside. For sure. There's tons of chop, wind, there's current. Look at Coach Anthony down there barking out orders. I love it. <laughs> he knows a little bit about getting in and out of the surf. <laughs> yeah, he does. Obviously, one of the top racers on the planet and a very seasoned lifeguard. I'm sure he's giving him some tips to figure out the current and wind conditions and things like that. Yep, taking his years of a junior lifeguard instructor, and he and Candace have been working with the kids, and nobody can teach him how to hop over that whitewash like Anthony. That's right. He almost uses an a old-school skateboard ollie technique. I've seen him just hop those things. It's incredible. Yeah, he's amazing in the surf for sure. Last minute instructions from the man himself. What's cool about the event, too, is, um, you know, they got so many volunteers. And Oh, there we go. We got the start. Heat one is off. Once again, we've got the boys, 12 to 14, Blue, Ingle King, Ryan Maloney, Noah Harper, Nick Scheel, Max Fleming, Max Stewart, Josiah Brackett, and Cole Vaughn. All right. Looks like a quick little lead is one of the Brackett kids, Josiah. I'm not sure who's in second, but that's Ryan Maloney who just went down, caught a rail, went from third to about fifth. There's Nick Scheel. We've got Dolphins out, leaping out at the, at the apex. The Dolphins are out there putting on a show for the boys. You might be able to see them right, oh, there they go, see them? Dolphins right out in front of first and second place, putting on a little show for the boys, and they make it over clean. Two guys have made it out clean. What a day, huh? Yeah, this is sick. Looks like everybody's going to make it through the first set, which is nice to see. Here comes the first buoy turn. Bracket still in the lead. And here they come. They got a little bit of a bump. Let's see if anyone can pick up this oh, first Blue wave. got a nice little about... 15 foot run to pass him. It looks like Blue overtakes Josiah Brackett for first place coming towards the beach. Oh, but here comes another wave where we're going to. Looks like Blue and Josiah are both going to be on the same wave here coming in. They both take a look. Here we go. Oh, Josiah knows under. 
and Blue goes down, both of them down. And here comes third and fourth place, looking like they're in a great spot here. Oh, there we go, a guy getting a nice right clean all the way in. Oh, out the back too, check out that set. There's Maloney. We have an unofficial new leader right now. Max Fleming comes from fourth place. Gets away way out back and he's made the turn. That's Max Fleming going out for a second, second loop. They've got a little bit of a break. Maybe the first two will make it out clean. Looks like we've still got Blue Ingle King and Max Fleming. First two coming out to the last buoy turn. Yeah, right behind them we got uh, Nick Scheel as well. So they've definitely made a gap on the rest of the crew. Other guys just getting to their feet. Yeah, nice turn right there. Look at him just step to the back of the board and flip it around. And right away, they got a little bit of a little bump to run right here. Yeah, we got a great race right here. These guys are tight. Here comes a set, too, so don't count Nick Shield in third back there. He could catch a wave in. The leaders are going to try and get on this bump, but it's in a funky session here. Oh, that was huge right there. And Blue Engel King looks like he's going to ride that thing right into the finish. Blue Engel King claiming the first heat. Right on, congrats. Yeah, it's hard to, hard to know all the names of the kids right away. We got Noah Hopper. Noah Hopper takes the win. All right, Nick Shield takes second. It went from third to second with that wave exchange. So as you can see, a lot of factors play in. We got third place running up here too. Nick Shields rocking the boardies, comes in, handles the surf, goes from third to second. All right, so heat one. Last few guys, competitors making it to it. Looks like Ryan Maloney finishing up. I think he got fourth or fifth here. Nice job, Ryan. Borwick's team rider. Comes Ryan's got a big smile. He's stoked. So what do we have? We had Noah Hopper, 
Nick Scheel. Was it one of the brackets who got third? And then I think Ryan Maloney fourth. So we'll try to get some official results for you guys. But that's the first first heat. As you can see, they're quick in and out sprint races. A lot of action. And, and uh, we're off to heat number two here any minute. Checking in. We've got the girls. Girls 12 to 14 lining up for heat number two. Yeah, the first heat. Looks like we're doing it every other boy, girl, boy, girl heat. So we'll we'll have the first heat of girls. Actually, some really good paddlers in this the 12 to 14 year old group. Looks like we got Laura Clayton, Darcy Forcier, Kalia Alexiu, Shay Fowdy, Aliana Clark. Christine Shoemaker and Emily Bark. So I know a few of these girls and they've been in the surf and everything. We'll see if that plays a big factor in, you know, the skill level and the experience. All right. Just in time for the girls' heat. We've got a nice little set rolling in. Right on cue. Looks like the girls are lining up again. It's fun to see all the parents hanging out. To see Dalbert's parents, Carl Ring, John Clark. Look at Carl running back, doing board trips, transfers. These guys are into it. I love it. Got Ron House down there, the official beach marshal, volunteering his time down here. Good to see these guys out supporting the cause, Candace and Anthony. And yeah, get ready for some more action. Heat number two, the first girls' heat. And it's a ringer. All right. Looks like our 12 to 14 girls are almost ready to go. Yep, probably going over the course. Let them know about the current, the waves, all that stuff. Obviously, Ron and Anthony and Candace got a lot of experience running events, so they want to keep the kids safe, give them all the info they need. And we should be seeing the start of this thing go on any second now. I see boards on the sides. Boards are up. Looks like the lineup's pretty clear. They might have a clear first start. There they go. He too, the girls, 12 to 14. They're off. And up, we've got Laura Clayton again, Darcy Forcier, Kalia, Alexou, Shea Foudy, Eliana Clark, Christine Shoemaker, and Emily Bark. Looks like the girls are getting pretty lucky with the set. They get through these small, kind of shore breaky ones. They'll have a nice clean start to the buoy. Not sure who's in first place. I could tell that's Aliana Clark in second. But there's a nice little pack. There's four people right in the mix. Four girls right in the mix with each four other. Four girls out clean, yeah. And it looks about two or three girls that 
We're having a little trouble through the shore break. But the lineup looks clear, so if they could get up, they could get right back in this thing. Again, as soon as we could identify some racers, we'll let you know for sure. Fortunately, the only one I know for sure is Aliana, who's in second. But we got the girl in first place making the first buoy turn. Nice and clean. Here comes Aliana. See how her buoy turn goes. We have our first racer. You can see that south wind and swell is really pushing them. They make that turn. They get pushed 30 yards to the, to the north. For sure. That's a factor out here this morning, definitely. Oh, it's interesting, like, to see the buoy turns and how everybody's nailing everything and how much it affects your placing, you know. So now Aliana's dropped down to fourth because second and third made a quicker buoy turn. But everyone's kind of scratching to a little